Hey there, YouTube. Um, just here to give you a uh, quick mention to the effect that the KID2M has officially been hacked um, by John Kusick of XDA Developer Forms in the KID2 software development section. Um, if you look at this thread right here, the KIN, KIN Open Source File Manager, it actually, I'll go to the second page real quick, show you. And so here we go. It says, after discovering a few things, implementing a lot of bug fixes, there it is. And here, all the versions, and all the version, you can just read it. Um, if you want to, you can just go to the form and actually read it. That's a good idea. Um, and it says, as posted here, I suggest that you use a virtual machine with .NET Frameworks 2.0 because the removal of the Zune driver for the kin. Um, now, as I, said, I didn't mention, but this is a very complicated hack, and it's only specifically for pretty advanced, I guess. You need to get into virtual machines and using OSX, so it's a bit complicated. It only works on OSX, from what I remember. So, um, or using a... They may have tried it with an OSX virtual machine, but uh, I don't know if that worked. Anyway, um, basically it says, now you can type... You can now take your kin, and if the driver and program behaves correctly, upload the files you want to the kin. Anytime, any type of file, anytime. And they'll say, if you want to turn the .exe file into a .mp4 to look for exploits, I wouldn't blame you for testing. Um, and it just says a bunch of stuff, and basically, not asking for donations or anything, he's just releasing it straight out, alpha release. So, um, it's pretty cool. And uh, I'd suggest you check it out. Um, don't hound the guy. It's pretty awesome. But, um, apparently he has a video, actually. Hmm, okay. So, um, let me see. Does he actually have a video? Here's a new vid. Oh, ultra low res. Oh, uh, oh, oh. he has the vid the vid right there. Okie doke. So let me pull this up. So here we are. He's in the Zoom player, obviously. And, um, I guess he's using Linux currently. From the looks of it. Um, I don't know if it uses links. Whatever it works. Um, wow. Guess you got something connected there. Wow. It's pretty impressive. Oh, dang. One video. Wow. That's pretty cool. He added that video without, like, going through any software. Just straight through... Wow, that's pretty cool. Anyway, um, you can download that file and watch the video if you want. It's straight on the form, upload.zip. And uh, from the looks of it, it does not contain a virus, so uh, feel free to try that out. Anyway, um, I congratulated the guy, and uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. Another guy called KinUser1 claims to have hacked it, but um, he actually has not released anything straight that actually suggests that he's hacked it. But, um, he claims that his phone is broken now. I don't know. But uh, that's a little less trustworthy, that guy. So I wouldn't really bother with him too much. Unless he actually releases something. But he hasn't so far. Anyway, John Classic has been there since the beginning. And it's pretty awesome that he finally released something. So, um, yeah. That's just my mention that the Kin 2M. Or, I don't know if it works with the Kin. But, either way. Kin has been hacked. Yay. Um, finally. It's a little complicated and only works with certain things. It's a little proprietary, I guess you'd call it. And um, But it's definitely a step in the right direction. And if somebody can get Android or Windows Phone 7 running on this, I'm definitely going to be happy. Um, anyway, just mentioning that to you. Feel free to check out the form. Um, I will post a link in the video description to this uh, form. 
if you want to go check it out. And uh, that's about it. I'll see you guys later, and uh, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, do whatever. And have a nice day.